All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kapadash, the honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and his sincerity across the four winds, the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners who may have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shem Al Shai? And what I want to get into, all right, this morning is dealing with no matter what, you know, our people, you know, will choose death, you know, no matter how much truth comes out, no matter how much exposure, no matter how much Esau Edom tells on itself, you know, our people will still choose death, you know, and that's a token, all right, of the curses that our people are under, man, you know. And what we have to understand, you know, you go to the book of Galatians, you know, and it speak about how Yahweh Shai, you know, became a curse for us, all right? It's talking about the believers, you know, and those that believe in Yahweh Shai, you know, those we're transitioning out of the curse. Because one thing that's transitioning us out of the curse is obedience, you know? You look at certain curses that evil eye towards your brother, well, According to the scriptures, Yahweh Shah said, Love thy neighbor as thyself, you know, and that's reversing that curse of uh, the evil eye. All right, now we still exist amongst our people who refuse Yahweh Shah and they just dwell in the curses, okay? And we still have particular things, you know, we still have restraints, you know, under these curses until the time where Yahweh Shah, but we see, as believers, we see us transitioning, you know, from, from the curses, man. Okay, and one thing about those curses, that will be an indicator and a token of who we are. Okay, and one thing about it is you read the scriptures dealing with the curses and you look at these particular people. All right, it's an indicator for us in this time that we are those people, man. Okay, because one of the main things is Jake, okay, is going to choose death regardless, man. Jake, Jake no matter what, no, like I said, no matter how much information comes out. No matter what documentary comes out, no matter how many facts come out, no matter if the devil tells them himself what he's about, okay, Jake is still going to choose death regardless, man, the majority of our people, man. So when you go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, all right, verse um, 40, 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses, curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and, and overtake thee to thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandment and his statutes which he commanded thee. Okay, so this is a promise that the Lord made for our disobedience that these curses would consume us, man. And when you look at our people, when you look at black culture, that's a nation assumed, uh, consumed by, um, by, by these curses. Okay, when you look at black culture, that's the, that's the result over people being consumed by curses, man. All right? Well, guess what? The scriptures say we were translated out of darkness into light. Okay? So we operate in the light amongst each other, man. All right? But we still have to deal, all right, with the cursed people until the time of salvation. You know what I'm saying? We still got particular restraints as well. Verse 46, it says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign, okay, and for a wonder, Upon thy seed forever, which is a long time. Okay, so the the curses itself is a sign and a wonder, and it's a token. All right, because you go into the word uh, uh, sign, I believe it's the same word as token. Yeah, it's the same word as token. All right, which is um, ata. Okay, ahata which is a, a distinguishing mark, okay? Uh, a token, an enzyme, a standard, a miracle, or proof, okay? So these these curses are proof of who we are. Now, when you go here to Deuteronomy 28 and 28, it says, this is part of the curses, it says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And this is what we see. Our people are, are, are smitten with, with their continual blindness. We was all smitten with blindness. But guess what? Through Yahweh Shai, we see. Because remember, Yahweh Shai did what? He healed the blind. Okay? When he was in the earth. And now in the spirit, he's healing the blind, which is the elect. 
we can see now. Jake is still operating in blindness. Jake is still, uh, you you still gonna have Jake's voting, okay? Well, they vote Democrat or, or Republic either. Which if you if you can see if you're in the light, you can see it's all a sham, okay? But you still gonna have Jake's that vote. You still gonna have Chase Jake's that believe in his money system. You still gonna have Jake's, okay? That are gonna try to salvage this B system, man, okay? You still gonna have Jake that's gonna trust Esau, that's gonna, you know, believe every, you know, uh, 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 thing that this man says. Okay, still listening to this man's instructions. You know, Jake is gonna choose death. All right, if you're not of the elect, you're gonna choose death no matter what. No matter what come out, you're gonna choose death. Okay, and it says, and thou shalt grope at noonday. All right, and the noonday is, is, is the brightest time of the day. So here it is, the truth, you know, is going out uh, uh, full throttle, you know. All type of information, all type of exposure is going out, okay. Even like I say, even the devil is exposing himself. He puts a lot of things in his movies and his TV shows, okay. And all this exposure is going out. The scriptures say how uh, Esau, all right, made bear, Okay. He, he can't hide himself, man. Okay? No matter how much this man shows that he's a devil. Okay? And he shows you what he's about. Okay? Jake Steele, all right, is, is going to choose this man over everything, man. Which is going to be to their death, man. To their torment. All right? And it says, Is the blind growth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled forever. And no man shall save thee. Yeah, there's no leaders amongst black culture, the black community. Okay? Yeah, what was you at? Quavo at the, at the top of the Kamala Harris, man. There's someone smitten with blindness, man. Okay? There's groping in the noonday. Hey, you see? Here it is. All the answers are constantly being poured out through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Al Shai. All the answers to, to why. All the why questions that our people have. Why is, you know, so-called white man haters? Why is he so prosperous? Why we can't be like them? Why Why this? Why that? Why the, why the God allow us to go with slavery? Why, you know, uh, all the why questions are being answered, okay? But Jake is in their blindness, man, okay? And, and, and no matter how much, you know, because you look at black cultures, it only gets worse. Now, uh, it, it was a plague of feminism, that was, that was the first major plague, okay, that broke up the families, okay? Then there was a plague <clears throat> of street culture, okay, which constantly is just setting our people backwards, all right? Then, now you have the alphabet community, okay, which is becoming a plague amongst Jay. So no matter how counterproductive black culture is, okay, as the scriptures say that, that thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, thou shalt be only oppressed, okay? Because black culture is a culture that oppresses itself, man, okay? Women make these horrible decisions, you know, get these, you know, these, all these baby daddies and children. You oppressing yourself. Niggas, you know, got these gang wars and all these different things going on, okay? Selling, you know, selling poison in the community. You oppress yourself. Okay, you you a domestic terrorist to yourself. Okay, within your own culture, and no matter how bad it gets, Jake still chooses their way, man. Niggas are still choosing the street life, no matter how many niggas go to prison or or, or die. Okay, the the nigga woman is still choosing. Okay, uh, um, to procreate with these niggas, no matter okay how bad off they end up, man. No matter how terrible the children are, they, they still making the same decision, man. This is their generation that walked in the wilderness, man. Okay? Let's go, um... Let's get this parable, because our people have heard this word, but they don't care, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter 8. Alright, this is Luke 8 and um, 4. It says, And when much people were gathered together and will come to him out of every city, he spake... He spake by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some 
fell upon a rock and as soon as it was sprung up it it withered away because it lacked moisture and some fell among the thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it and others fell on the ground and sprang up and bare fruit and hundredfold and when he had said these things he cried he that have ears to hear let him hear and his disciple asked him saying what might this parable be and he said unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the most high but to others in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand okay so no matter what all right because the, the, the mysteries of the kingdom see there's only a select fruit few that the lord built to be able to comprehend and grasp the concept of a kingdom of rulership all israel ain't, ain't built to grasp that concept man the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of rulership okay the mysteries of, of sovereignty in the earth the last thing a nigga thinking about is sovereignty man nigga just want their little pleasures in babylon man niggas ain't thinking about sovereignty man okay it says now the parable is this the seed is the word of the most high all right those by the wayside are they that hear and see with this seed all we can do is cast seeds out every time we do a lesson we're casting out seed we can't help what ground it falls on man okay we 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 we, we have nothing to do okay with how this seed takes how this word when we cast this word how people take to this word we can just keep casting word that's what we're allowed to do man you know as as apostle paul say paul planted apollo's water as the most high gave the increase okay so we we can continue to plant seeds in the earth this word okay and then the other brothers water you see and it's the most high that gives the increase man if he allows that seed to take okay it said those by the wayside are they that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved they on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy and these have not root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away and that which fell among the thorns are they when they have heard go forth and are choked with the cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection but but that on the good ground are they which in a honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring fruit with patience okay so you're going to have all these different scenarios of this word going out where well, our people that is not meant for them to get okay this word not going to take root but for the elect this word is going to take root and and, and begin to flourish okay first it begins to flourish you know as a man you know as, as, you know it begins to flourish in in, in uh you know in, in our individual life okay and then okay what happens man we 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 begin to teach we built up to teach and then we start bearing fruit you know we hey, we, we sprout you know the seed is planted then eventually it sprout you know grows out okay and then eventually you know it keeps growing and then it branches and and now it's bearing fruit okay but it's not meant for every Israelite to go through their process. Let's get this in um the book of Isaiah chapter 30. All right, verse 8. It says, Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in the book, that it may, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, Children that would not hear the law of the Most High. Yeah, that our people is rebellious. Okay, that this is a rebellious people, lying children that would not hear the law of the Most High. So we have the record that our people are stiff-necked and stubborn. You know, that's why sometimes, you know, even it's still a marvel to see Jake still choose death with all this coming out. All right, but we, we can't be, you know, appalled to the point that, 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 that it hinders us. Because we have a record like, oh, the Lord, you know, had Jake recorded of being rebellion. Look what Jake did in the wilderness, man. All those miracles that the Lord showed, shown, and what did Jake do? They went, 
right back to idolatry of Egypt, man, the golden calf. Okay? You had Jake being, you know, uh, when we was in our sovereignty, Jake being sodomites in the temple. Like, Jake, Jake wilding, man. Okay, this is our people. We have a record of, like, Jake be wilding, man. No matter what the circumstances is, the, the most I can have favor on Jake, the most I can put hell on Jake, the most I can show miracles to Jake, Jake still, all right, that, that, that generation of wrath, as the scriptures say, the two-thirds, a.k.a. the generation of wrath, are always going to choose death, man. Okay? We say to the seers or to the prophets, See not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Okay? And that's what Jake wants to hear. Jake wants to hear confident words, all right, in, in within black culture. Jake wants to hear some hope for niggas, man. Some hope for black people. No. The the the, the, the hope is for the elect of Israel that have repented through faith in Yahushua. That's the hope. Ain't no hope outside of that, man. Jake wants some type of hope. That the next president is going to do right by them. Okay? That's what Jake want, want to hear, man. Smooth words, man. B loans, and black businesses, and black economics. Jake want to hear those smooth things, man. Okay? Protect the black woman. All this silly shit. All right? Th th that's vain as hell. Okay? It says, and, the, and they say, get you out of the way. Turn the side out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And see, Jake want to hear everything but the gospel, man. Jake can take heed to every 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 uh, 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 doctrine and, and philosophy except the gospel, the good news of the Bible. Okay, he said, wherefore does say the Holy One of Israel because you have despised his word and trust in oppression, oppression and perverseness and stayed thereon, which is the pen. Okay, therefore the this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose break is coming suddenly at an instant. Whose break is coming suddenly at an instant. Okay? So our people trust in this society, and it's going to be a quick collapse, man. Things, hey, things are going to hit the fan quick. Okay? Chaos and, 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 and violence, starvation, these things are going to settle in the earth, man, while people... Are still in this mind, uh, mindset of trusting in oppression, man. They trust in the system that has done nothing but oppress them in every way. Every way this system has oppressed our people and our people show nothing but trust for this system, man. It says, and he shall break it as the breaking of a pot of vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a, a sheared, okay, to take fire from the from the, uh from the hearth, or to take water with all out of the pit. Yeah, so the Lord's gonna break up our people. You know, hey, pretty much Jacob Trouble is gonna grind Jacob to dust, man. All right, the Most High is gonna break our people down to the smallest. All right, hey, hey, yeah, he's gonna break them down to pieces, man. With this collapse. It said, for thus said the Lord power, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall you be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. You know? So our people, all right, they refuse to rest in, in prophecy, to rest in truth, to rest in the power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? They refuse that, man. All right? But but they said they refuse their strength. Israel refuses their power. Okay? And they and they and they take hold to oppression, man. Okay? They take hold to this oppression and it's gonna be to their ruin. And Lord will we endure and we don't fall into that, that spirit, man. Alright? So Lord will you brothers and you sisters will edify till next time I say shalom. Quam Yashallah, Bob Bob, DTA soon, Rakata Yahweh. Brock at the house, shot, brock at the house, brock at the house, shot, call her lawyer, lawyer, how about she mouth, shot, money.